An error message on your computer can be a pain, especially if you are unfamiliar with it, and don't know where to start. Well, fret no more because I am here to help. I have compiled for you a list of easy to follow troubleshooting guide below. These are tried and tested methods from threads and forums and even the Microsoft community. Make sure to watch the entire video first before jumping into performing any of them, and back up your files. Let's go. The SOD and causes. Windows is programmed to fix issues it encounters automatically. If it can't, you'll get a BSOD or blue screen of death. As dreadful as it sounds, it simply is a screen that shows a sad face and some information to help you find a solution. The SOD causes can be as simple as a faulty driver, incompatible software, or as complex as a corrupted registry or malfunctioning hardware part. Today we are going to focus on the error code 0xc0000221. There are multiple ways to approach this problem. Depending on the root cause, a step might work for one and not for another. Let's start from the software on your PC down to its hardware parts. If you're looking for a simple solution to fix any error code with a couple clicks of a mouse, the Restorer Repair tool is the fastest and easiest solution to fix Windows error codes. You can download it at errorcodestop.com slash Restoro. A link for Restoro will also be down below in the description for you to check out. Ok, let's get into the video. Solution 1. Software Fix. If your PC was working just fine, and then you suddenly get the 0xc0000221 code, the chances are that there was a recent change, with or without your knowledge, that provoked it. See what's causing it by executing the following steps. Start in safe mode. If your PC can boot in safe mode, it only means that you are dealing with a software problem. Safe mode only runs on fundamental drivers and services, ultimately pointing out the issue to third-party programs. You should get automatically redirected to the WinRe, Windows Recovery, mode after ABSOD screen where you can choose to continue, use a device, troubleshoot, or turn off PC. If not, then force it by restarting three to four times. Just press and hold the power button. Choose Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings. From Startup Settings, choose Enable Safe Mode. Solution 2. System Restore. Choose System Restore to return to a specific time or date when you haven't encountered the error yet. This also helps you isolate the BSOD cause because restore points are triggered by any changes done on your PC. Note that this step will not work if you don't have any restore points saved or if System Restore is turned off on your computer. Solution 3. Eliminate through Task Manager. If System Restore is not an option, you will have to manually go through the list of startup and non-Microsoft services, and begin a tedious elimination technique to see which one is the culprit. Press Alt, Control, Delete to open up the Task Manager, and follow these steps. Click the Startup tab and click the Disable All button at the bottom. Click the Services tab, tick the checkbox at the bottom that says Hide All Microsoft Services, and then hit the Disable All button too, on this one. Don't worry, we are not deleting any of these services, we are just disabling them in the meantime to see if one of them might be causing the error. Putting a check on the Hide All Microsoft Services ensures that we won't be disabling any critical services by accident. Hit Apply, OK and Restart. If your computer boots up successfully to the normal mode, go back to the Services list, and start the elimination system. Open Task Manager again, and go back to the Services tab. Recheck Hide All Microsoft Services. Depending on how many non-Microsoft services you have on your list, start enabling them in groups of 3 or 5 and restart your PC every time. 
If you went back to the error message, boot in safe mode and go around the last group of services you enabled in Task Manager. Enable them one by one and restart your computer. If all the services are up and running and nothing happened, then go to the Startup tab and perform the same elimination process on that list. Remove the root cause service or program once you've found it. Solution 4. System File Check. Scan and fix faulty system files by running these commands in order. SFC command. Open the command prompt box by typing CMD on the search box. Once the CMD icon shows on the list, right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. On the black box that will pop up, type SFC slash scan now and hit enter on your keyboard. Restart your PC once the scan completes. DISM command. Open the command prompt and make sure to choose run as administrator. Type DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health and press enter. Take note that there is a space before each forward slash. The command prompt is not case sensitive, so no need to capitalize the letters, make sure that you type in the correct commands. CHKDSK command. On the same command prompt screen, type chkdsk e drive slash f slash r. Replace the letter e with the actual drive letter of your hard drive and hit enter. Solution 5. Hardware fix. If the above troubleshooting steps did not work, then it's a good chance it's already a hardware problem. The error 0xc000221 also points out the RAM and other external devices connected to your computer. In the following steps, you will have to open it up physically, so power it down first and unplug the power cable. Press and hold the power button for 5 seconds to drain any excess electrical current. This will prevent you from getting electrocuted when you touch the hardware parts inside. Check RAM. If you recently installed a new RAM stick, try to remove it and see if you'd still get the error. If your computer boots successfully without the new RAM module, try to insert it into a different RAM slot. If there's none, try switching places with the original RAM. Check external devices, secondary GPU. Unplug and disconnect all external and unnecessary devices, external hard drive, USB drive, speakers, secondary hard drive, SLI GPU, or Crossfire configuration. If your computer boots up correctly without these devices, reconnect them one by one, restarting your PC each time, to eliminate which is causing the error. Replace the faulty hardware after. When all else fails. Installing a fresh copy of Windows will eliminate all problems on your computer, unless it's a hardware problem. You can use your installation disk or the bootable device by downloading a disk image for Windows 10 on this link here. We will also add the link below in the description. Choose install now once you boot from the disk or USB drive and follow the on-screen instructions. Don't forget to back up all of your important files first. To wrap things up, error messages on computers are inevitable. The only computer that doesn't encounter errors is a dead computer. So don't sweat it when it happens, there are plenty of guides that you can follow as well as tools like Restoro that fix errors automatically which we will link down below. Just make it a habit to regularly back up your files so you won't have to worry about losing anything important. If any of the steps I mentioned helped you, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.